we've been living under a rock. There is a League of Legends card game, and it is a great game that Ryan doesn't treat with the respect it deserves because there's very many amazing characters in this game. <laughs> So many in that I think a majority of these characters would make far better champions than the ones we've gotten as of late. Uh, you know, minus Renata and Vex. I think Renata and Vex were very great. Instead of f***ing Zeri. Ah! I have 10 here today. Hello! 10 characters from Legends of Runeterra, plus 5 honorable mentions. Some of them are not specific, because not every character in... Legends of Runeterra is a named character. And I did say stuff about Renata, so let's cycle Renata into the first honorable mention, which is Karina. Zon will be mine. I, everyone knows, I thought Karina was gonna be the next champion. It seemed so obvious, but it was Renata. And in the same vein as how if they put Silco in the game, I don't know how they do it, because I think Renata just takes the spot of what Silk or Karina would do. And now we move on to the second honorable mention. You guys saw it in the thing from yesterday. That's Jackie Boy, Jack the Winner. My boat, my rules. Now this is a cool guy. Again, his spot is kind of taken up by Set. Set does something kind of similar to what he does. You know, he's, he's a pit fighter, although he could use his goons. He could use his shark goons, and he does have a cane. Right. Hi. I, I like him a lot. I like him better than Set, personally. And they have the voice actor on call, because the guy who voices Brom ha! voices Jack the Winner. Next honorable mention we have here is one that I would like to see, but I, I they can't really make it work, because it's, it, it's Rasa. Fall before us. Rasa's cool, but Rasa would look so stupid in League of Legends because he'd be so tiny. They, if, if they found a way to make him enormous like how he is here, then it'd be cool, but like it's the size difference. But then again, the cosmic space dragon god of the universe is in League of Legends, so he had Malphites in the game, so maybe they could make it work. There's a chance. Third last honorable mention is one that I think we all enjoy because she's amazing and was the, the light and the spark of hope in the Vandal City expansion, and that's Ava. Ava. Vandal Scout recruit Ava, ready to learn. You know, Ava's just nice, right? I think we could, we all like Ava. She could be fun. She like throwing traps and she can have all kinds of things in her backpack. Her whole thing is that she's a traveler. Big backpack, exact. Her backpack could be like a, like an infinity backpack where it's just like this infinite space. She could like pull out other characters or something out of the backpack, you know? I, I like Ava a lot. And our final honorable mention, and this one I'm gonna be crucified for because I know this one is a very high contender that a lot of people want to see, and that is your boy, Commander Ladros. I am Ladros, the King's Shield. I love Ladros. He's fucking cool, but my issue is that, yeah, he'd be Leona. Because ideally, you want Ladros to be a support, right? So you can have Ladros Khalees the bot lane. It's like Zyra Khan, you know? You'd want. You want the couple together, right? But he's a big dude with a big sword and a big shield as a support. That's just Leona. Now, that's honorable mentions out of the way. Now we can get into the real top 10. And we move from the commander to the motherfucking captain, baby. It's Captain Farron. Out of my way. Yes, please. I, Captain Farron would be badass. We don't have a character with a weapon type like he does. You know, a unique weapon, yeah, ball and chain. I guess you could kind of count Sejuani and her flail, but like this dude is running around dual wielding ball and chain. Also, Farron has a 3D model, right? Like Farron showed up in the Daria cinematic. Plus, he's a Zonite. Again, like Samira, I think that's one of the coolest parts about Samira is that she is a Shuriman who lives in Noxus. It shows that Noxus is like the cultural melting pot of Runeterra, even if they're fucking psychopaths, <laughs> but you know. Now we get on to uh, a Freljordian champion that I don't think this is their exact name, but I like them a lot, and I think it's a part of the Freljord that is solely underrepresented that I would love to see, and that is the Draclorn Inquisitor. All will fear and love our dark lady. When you think about it, how many Frostguard champions do we have? Lissandra and Trundle. That's it. We need another frost guard. And what better than the, than the captain? He's, look at this dude. This dude's cool as hell. This is scary. Like if you saw this, in, imagine walking through the, the snow of the front and this guy's just in all black and he looks like that. You'd think he was like a demon or something. The single eye, he sands Undertale go into his eye. Here's what you do. You make him a jungler because Lissandra is a mid and top laner. 
so he'd gank for Lysandra. Number eight. Number eight. Burger King foot left. This one is very recent, and I'd mainly like to see it because I want the lore to be fucking crystal clear, and, I, and, and it kind of it kind of pissed me off. And I think you guys know which one I'm probably talking about. Number eight is the Mana Soul student slash Danny, the other Uvi cat we now know of. There's magic, and then there's me. Because I want to know what the fuck's going on here. <laughs> where, where, where did you come from? So here's here's the thing about Danny, right? Is true. It could be possible that another Uvi cat survived. Nico was not the sole survivor, right? That. That, sure, but that completely undermines the point of her character arc. With Fizz or Nar, it doesn't really matter that the last of their kind. So when they say that there's more, then it doesn't matter. But Nico's whole character arc is that she has lost her family and needs to make a new one. And you could make it like, oh, there was one survivor. That could be an interesting story that she finds out, oh my god, there is a survivor. Like, I'm not the only one. And that could be cool. And then Danny doesn't know what the fuck's Nico's deal because he's like hardcore Noxian. That could be interesting. All right, number seven. This one is not a specific character, but one that I would like to see one of, and one that I think is a part of Demacia and is not represented uh, at all yet, I don't think. I would love to see a Mage Seeker. Magic has no place here. Do they have any special powers? Not really. No. But that's what makes them scary. If there was a Mage Seeker, you're, I guarantee you if they put a Mage Seeker, they'd have a silence, <laughs> right? Their, their ult would probably like a, be like a big like a Vigar cage of a silence box. You know, that's probably what they, I imagine they'd be like a support. Anyway, Mage Seeker would be cool. Now we move on to another named character. This one, admittedly, is a bit goofy, but one from a region we haven't seen in a long time. Although I think we're getting one soon. Although the new champion is not technically from Bilgewater. They're just, uh, you know, that they, they moved to it. But I think we need a pure Bilgewater champion. And I nominate God motherfucking Riptide Rex, baby. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> I love this guy. Imagine playing a character who's just a giant land shark with like 50,000 cannons on his back. He just shoots you. Yeah, like, man, that'd be so funny. Would just be clever with a shark? You don't need, um, you don't need this. I forget what his name is. I need more runs! I think Rex would be like a top lane. I mean, he could be like, um, okay, what if Rex is an 80 carry? He he is like Kogma, where he does ballistic damage, but is, has an enormous hitbox and is he's tankier, has a big hitbox, but he's slow as fuck. Like he wouldn't be a tank ADC, but he would be tankier than most ADCs because of his hitbox is so big and because he's so immobile. All right. Next one, you guys know it's coming. You guys know it was coming, because this guy's fucking cool. Ravoon hey Daylight Spear. The best design Solari we've ever seen. May our light shine forever. Holy shit. Ravoon is badass. He's so cool. And now you might be saying, well, we already have Leona though. Why would we need a second uh, Solari? Well, we have Aphelios and Diana. And I'm pretty sure Zoe is also was from Lunari, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, Pantheon is technically from, so that would balance it out, wouldn't it? It'd have three from each. This is like, look at this, oh my god. This is what I mean, it's why I want Leona to get a visual update, because Solari aesthetic is so goddamn cool, and Ravun proves that. Now we get on one that, this this one I want in for very similar reasons to Danny. although I'm a bit skeptical about because I would love to see this character, but I am concerned as to what putting this character in the game would imply, and that is the Mask Mother. The masks they wear tell their tale. Mainly because I want to know more about her. Like, what is her deal? Like, you could put her in the jungle too. She'd be so creepy. Plus, we need more female characters. We have what? I guess Belveth adds to that now. Although, Belveth is like, you know. But, like, Mass Mother is like, this is like a creepy looking design. It's like uh, Studio <laughs> Ghibli shit. I think that's very cool. And another spirit would be uh, a really cool addition. We haven't had one in a long time. All right. Next one is one that's a bit more ambiguous um, because this one, again, is not a named character, but it's a kind of character I want to see in the game very much, like a lot. I really want to see a Bakai. I really, like a, like a real Bakai. I really want it. If I had my choice, 
I would pick the sand spinner though. Pride was my end, as it will be yours. I think the sand spinner is like the perfect example of like, that Why looks wrong. That? I like the sand spinner because the sand spinner is like, yeah, that looks like there's like clumps of fur yeah. here. The tail yeah. is, is all messed up. Six arms that are kind of like twisted and conformed. It's got like weird cheetah yeah. legs. Eyes are concealed. You know, it looks very wrong because that's the point of Ascended. It, it didn't work. So she turned out like some horrible creature. Number two. Now, this one, of course. I think we know that this, I feel like she's gonna become a champion eventually, for sure. There's no way. Like, I can't imagine a world where Scythria doesn't become a champion eventually. With Demacia in our hearts, we fly! I'd hope they use her, like, Lady of Clouds version, because this version's cool. Like, I, I like Scythria a lot, and she's got so many cards, you know, she appeared in the Garen novella. I like the character arc of moving up the ranks, you know? Like, we've seen her progression to the point where now she's like the captain of the Silverwing uh, army, you know? Like, that's cool. More lore. That's true. Cethria, as a card in Legends of Runeterra, has infinite more lore than Shaco. And that's a bit sad. <laughs> and now for number one. There's obviously some some ones that I would have loved to put in here, because Elawar has so many fantastic characters. You know, like, Kahiri is really cool. Orak Glinthorn is awesome. Scar Mother Vrina, Atakan, Tabalk is awesome. The Iron Boar, they're cool, but I think we all know the one. The one who got snuffed and should have been Ziri. It's fucking Professor Von Yip. Perhaps we should pause for thought. We need Professor Von Yip to be a champion. He's had so much lore about him. He has to be a champion. I demand that he is not only in the game, but that he is an AD carry, so we can have Yumi, Professor Von Yip bot lane with the cat bot lane. That would be hilarious. And I prefer him to be in like the catastrophe thing, so he has like a more uh, different motif than uh, than Yumi does. I would say that Professor Von Yip is number one, except that I like. It's fucking shit, baby. It's chip, <laughs> chip in the game. Chip's gonna be the newest champion. He's gonna be the strongest champion of all time. He's gonna he's gonna have every single move one shots the opponent, and then his ult disconnects the entire enemy team from the game, and he insta wins. Five thousand percent win rate. It's Chip. Chip's gonna be the best character in the whole game. 